Kratos? Are you joining me? Faye. Are you ready? You walk as though Emir himself sits atop your shoulders. This is your hunt. I will follow. Very well, Grimms. Fresh kill. At least it didn't suffer. Hmm. Am I to decipher your grunting? Tell me your thoughts. We hunt a predator. A wolf. Yes. Predators kill. It is the natural order of things. Your words are misguided. Shh. Approach slowly. It's okay, little one. We want to help, don't we? <laughs> no, don't! <sighs> Come on. The sick wolf we found beyond our stave. He found his way inside. As I said he would. We should have acted. It was not our concern. Now it is. Problem doesn't have to reach our doorstep for it to be our responsibility. If we have the power to limit the harm it could cause, we should act. Who are we to hide and do nothing? We are not hiding. Gonna make me pick that one up? Mm. Mm. Good boy. Troubled in your sleep, even for you. Nightmares? I dream of the past. Almost every night. Ah, the bad old days in Greece? No. It feels like Faye is trying to tell me something. You don't mean to say you're talking to ghosts again, brother? No. But it is something more than memory. <clears throat> oh, you should talk to Derlin. Who's Derlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. 
That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. I still can't believe mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have covered that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. They are resources. If you never asked Mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. No. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Jump, jump, jump. Failed. Dead. Best of them all. One's left alive after pay the price. Nothing. What's wrong? I could hear mother inside last time, but I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now. United by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When Father went inside the light, he said You went he... inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Father, she's... she's gone. Yes. Keep moving. Did a lot of giants live here? Over time? You want to know about your mother? She lived this entire life before she had me. But I don't know anything about it. I'm sorry. I don't know anything about her. Your mother left the path of the giants way before I was born. Forgiveness can be powerful, even for the unworthy. My wife, Faye, taught me that. Hmm. Well, be glad you have a spouse to remember fondly. Atreus' mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Jotnar. Yes. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, see? Nothing in the world. 
Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Hmm. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of you. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I plumb drop. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your <laughs> Save your extra effort when it's personal. Like the when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Brock, when you knew Faye, was she... Let me stop you right there, killer. Brock ain't one to go breaking no confidences. Not even when it comes to the dearly departed. You don't hear me spreading your business all over town, do you? Smiths don't blab. It's just how it's gotta be. Kratos. You all right? Well, your father seems very ready to go. Shall we then? Enjoy the gentle waves, little one. Your father and I traverse this river often. One day, you will learn to navigate its waters. We live deep in the wild ones. The most beautiful forest in all of Midgard. And it is safe and serene here. Game is plentiful, and you will want for nothing. We're not far from the place your father and I first met. We nearly took each other's heads off. But he's softened since then. Somewhat. Unfortunately for you, he remains dreadfully still.
I suppose it will fall to me to teach you language. Your father can teach you to hunt. Or perhaps that will fall to me as well, since all he seems to be good for is grunting. Hmm. Have you nothing to say to your son? What would you have me say, Faye? Anything. Let him learn your voice. Let him know you. It is far better off knowing as little as possible. Knowledge is not always a burden. Think. The mighty god of war. Frightened of his own child. I do not fear our child, Faye. I fear for him. He is innocent. We are not our failures. We are not who we were. We must be better. <laughs> Atreus is our future. Keep him safe, Kratos. Protect our son. Never got my highbrow sense of you. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Does my request upset you? Death is a natural part of life, my love. I wish only to be prepared for when my time comes. Mortals must do such things. I am glad to have you prepare with me. You are quiet? I have nothing to say. No. 
Say something. I enjoy hearing your voice. A funeral pyre. I would have chosen different. Oh? You would have me trapped in the ground for eternity. I would have you close to me. How touching. My rotting corpse would bring you such comfort. Mm. You once tried to take charge of your ending, did you not? That was different. Circumstance, yes. But not on purpose. You prepare for a distant future. There is much time ahead of us. I wish to better a future that will exist without me whenever that day comes for you and for our son. We will always walk together, Kratos. You will always be a part of me. I will always be a part of you. And when you are gone, that part of me dies as well. I do you feel your absence? <laughs> Culmination of love is grief. And yet we love, despite the inevitable. We open our hearts to it. When the pyre is spent, and you have gathered my ashes, spread them from the highest peak in all the realms. You will do this for me. is to have loved fully. Open your heart to the world as you have opened it to me and you will find every reason to keep living in it. Mother? My shrine in Jotunheim. She destroyed it. She didn't want us to know our fate. We forged our own path because of her. She went against her own people. Our people to protect you. They don't all open. I'm sorry.
Father, I... I need to talk to you about something. There are other giants out there. And I've got to find them. I think I know where to look, but... They're my responsibility. I need to do this alone. I, I don't want to do it alone, but... I need to. It's hard to explain. Does it frighten you? Yeah. That is why you must do it. Like you taught me. Yeah. We survived today because of your choices. Who to trust. Who to call friend. Son. You are ready. Remember our promise. Loki will go. Atreus. Atreus remains.
see what I'm seeing. A lightning bolt. Except it's frozen. Like the one made in my fight with Thor. But why would there be one just like it here in Vanaheim? Hmm. Speak. The day this valley was destroyed, my spirit, it was torn, split in two. Part of me. It lies out there with my remains. Perhaps if a scroll was full again, it would uncloud my mind. I could find peace. What do you want, spirit? I was... the scroll. There was... a message I must deliver. The Acer. And Thor, I, I must remember. The message must be delivered. It was important. My commander is waiting on my word. He's been waiting a while, then. Tell us, what is the last thing you remember? I was seen red. With anger. At the Aesir. And there were these... red trees. Please, help me regain my memory. Then I can tell you what I know of that day. This specter may be able to tell us what happened in this valley, brother. The Leviathan froze that lightning. Do you think Mother was... you know... here? It means nothing. We do not know that Faye was here. True. But that frozen bolt tells an unfinished story. If we want to know what really happened here, we need to know what that spirit remembers. Hmm. Then we go. I have returned your scroll, spirit. And I am whole again. Now I can deliver my message. Your commander is long dead. I... Of course. Odin sent Thor to take control of the valley. But I suppose it's too late now. Don't worry. We're handling the Aesir. Now, tell us what you know of that day. I remember walking into a meat hall, and Thor was there. Do you know why he was there? There were whispers he was looking for a Vanir military outpost. I didn't want any trouble, so I got out quick. That's the last I saw of him, but maybe there are others who saw more. I wonder if Thor was meeting someone at the meat hall. Whoa, you think Thor was meeting Mom there? Faye never drank with me, and she would not have with him. Sometimes we never really know the ones we love, brother. I know you see me. I am listening. Five hours due north. Two hours east. I said I would find this valley a new home after the seer destroyed mine. So, what happened? I cannot remember. I know that I wanted a new life. Do you remember seeing anything that could help us find the other half of your hourglass? There were three waterfalls. I remember wishing I could live near them. Another spirit displaced by the Aesir. Odin must have been really mad when Freya left him to do all this. Odin was never going to stop. That's why he sent Thor here. And what of Faye? Did she challenge Thor? Challenge Odin? Who knows? But the truth is waiting for us, brother. Wait, over here! What do you remember of the day you died? Everything is hazy. I remember I was nervous. This brooch. I plan to propose to my beloved. Please, I beg you. Restore me. Restore my memory. Then I can tell you. Tell you all I know of that day. Your remains. Where are they? I was looking out upon the valley. Then the ground. I tried to dodge a pillar as it collapsed. I must not have made it.
have brought you what you asked. Thank you, my love. She waits for me in full thunder. Now I can ask her to spend eternity with me. How can I repay you? Tell us what you know of that day. I was at the meat hall. Thor was there. He had a strange drinking companion. Some sort of creature, the likes of which I'd never seen. It had this barrel of meat that seemed to never go empty. What were they doing there? Getting blind drunk by the looks of it. They were passing drinks around, reveling. Everyone had a tipple too many. But Thor, he was by far the drunkest of any man there that day. Mumir, what do you make of this? Thor has always loved a strong drink with questionable company. But I've never heard any word of his creature companion. Well, this isn't a lot to go on, I'm afraid. Well, we know one thing. Thor was totally drunk when the valley was destroyed. There's still much we do not know. And whether your mother was involved remains unclear. <gasps> Wait. What is it you want? Are you... a father? Yes. Then you must understand. My son, Miss Tori, it was for him. But now, he's gone. That day, so much chaos and death. I was panicked. Looking for my son. Please, help reunite me with my son and Folkfanger. We're gonna help him, right? What is the last thing you saw, Spirit? Statues. Two of them. Dragons facing away from each other. Separated like my sons. This toy. It will bring me back to him. This story is like many in this valley. Separated from someone they love by death. We gotta get him back to his son. Agreed. You do? Huh? I assumed you'd say something like, reuniting the dead is pointless. Not this time. You can be with your son now. Thank you. I can't wait to see his face again. I'll give him this gift and tell him about the brave people who helped me. Now you can help us. What did you see that day? Yes, I remember now. On the day the valley was destroyed, Thor was swinging his hammer wildly through town. Everyone was terrified. Then a fair-haired warrior stepped in his path, and a fight began. She was a brave woman. This fair-haired warrior must have been Faye, brother. Yeah, Mom stood up to Thor. I'm not sure if Faye had bravery or bravado. Not many live to tell the tale of a fight with Thor. They never spoke of fighting him. Everyone has secrets. We do not know for certain this was Fay. Aye. There is only one way to find out, brother. What is it? It is a tale of combat. Of a fair-haired woman doing battle with the most powerful of all gods. What woman? Elaborate. What? Oh, the specifics elude me. I, I had my stein me, and uh, I was excited. Yes, about to bury the hatchet with an old friend. But something terrible happened. I'm afraid that terrible thing was your demise, my friend. I know there was more. Parts. I could see all three. Please help me make amends with my friend. Help me remember. I've got a good feeling about this guy. I think he knows something about Mother. Or not. Have some faith, brother. Answers could be closer than you think.
I live to drink another day. Well, in Folkweiler at least. Now I can meet my friend and make amends. You owe us a story first. A battle. Unlike anything I've ever seen, I remember a great clash of metal in the sunlight. Thor, he wielded his hammer, but it was matched by a remarkable axe. This axe? Did it belong to a fair-haired warrior? Yes! That's the one! She brandished that axe with exacting precision. Straight. Never has there been a weapon to match Mjolnir. But with that axe and that warrior, Thor was in for the fight of his life. It was Faye who fought Thor in this valley. It was more than just a fight. It sounds like Mom was beating Thor. It seems there is much I never knew about her. And now she is gone. Maybe. But her story here isn't finished. Good idea. Here is your hourglass. Thank you. Now I can leave for Volkvanger. A question first, brother. You wanted to make this valley your home. What stopped you? I remember this valley. It was on the brink of devastation when I found it. Was it a crater like you see now? No, but the town was in shambles. Shattered glass, broken buildings. There was no home to be made here. Did you see what caused the destruction? A battle. Thor and this woman with red hair. They tore through the town. The rage between them was terrifying. Thor was enraged. I'm not surprised. No. The warrior. She was furious and fought like it. Thor was drunk, sloppy, but she was drunk on something else. Rage. It was out of control. I saw her fury with every swing of her axe. That battle destroyed this land. These stories, I have known Faye's anger, but never to this extent. We hide the parts we're ashamed of, brother. Mm. Mom must have hated Thor for what he did to the giant. Maybe that's why she did what she did. She took part in the destruction of this valley. That would take a rage I thought her incapable of. Perhaps you and Faye had more in common than you thought? We both had secrets. But that kind of anger... I never saw Faye in that light. Even the brightest among us carry darkness, brother. 